There were several peaceful protests that took place today on UC's campus, and we were there for one of them. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle is live right now with more on their message, plus a unique story about a local musician who wrote a hip-hop song rooted in peace and unity. Jake? Well, Craig, we'll first start with that protest here on UC's campus. You know, it wasn't too long ago, there were hundreds of protesters, mostly wearing uh, white, uh, in fact, what we now know is that the, most of them were wearing white medical coats here at UC's campus. I'll tell you what, it's been a long week, hasn't it? The protest peaceful, organizers called it the rally for justice. Several hundred attended while it involved mostly walking around UC's campus. Protesters took to a knee for more than eight minutes to remember the life of George Floyd. Organizers here say their hopeful change can come soon. And we are tired as a people and we're exhausted and we're sad, and there's something different about the murder of Mr. Floyd that has really ignited a nation. Now away from those protests, a different voice, a local musician, a hip hop artist is wanting to use his platform to create a bit of change. He goes by the name of Cool Ken, his new single. It's focused mostly on justice and unity. It started with a beat. I mean. oh. Speaking directly to the boys in blue. A uh, rhythm. This is perfect. And I, I just couldn't get that beat out of my mind. The words came naturally for Cool Ken. Oh, I thought you knew. I thought you well, knew. I fear for my life when I see you. Yeah, I want to go home to my family too. It's therapeutic for me. You know, I have to write and it feels good for me. It makes me feel better, you know, to, um, because I, I don't get an opportunity to turn on the radio and, and hear stuff that's uplifting and positive. After the death of George Floyd, Ken says he knew he wanted to make a difference. I'm not pointing a finger and, and, and so forth like that. I'm not trying to preach, but at the end of the day, it's the truth, and a lot of people don't like hearing the truth. That's what may be needed most right now. Right, that's what's necessary, is being honest with ourselves and with each other and just trying to make a difference, a positive difference in this world. The song, Boys in Blue, How Many More, Part Two. Part one came in 2003. He says the black community is still fighting that same fight years later. And then here we are, 2020. Um, I'm still speaking about the same stuff. Same stuff is still relevant. The music video shows names of African American men and women who have died at the hands of police officers. Frustrating, um, and it makes you angry because you you don't understand why. You know, it's like okay. If people treat people the way they want to be treated, we wouldn't have any problems, right? The message is about holding officers accountable and taking a stand in solidarity. You know, we're, we're standing with them. You know what I mean? We, we, we will stand with the good officers. That's without question. You know, good people stand with good people. Now, his single debuted today at noon. We are going to put a link up on our WCPO.com story so that you have a chance to listen and see it. For now, reporting live outside of UC Medical Center, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. All right, Jake.